Hi, so you are on your way to becoming a web developer, you're learning web development and as part of that you will almost certainly also learn JavaScript because JavaScript is probably the most important programming language to learn these days as a web developer because you can use it in so many places and if you're ever going to do some front-end web development you will need JavaScript because on the client side in the browser JavaScript is essentially the only programming language you can use there. Now the thing is if you learn JavaScript it can be a bit strange at the beginning. I guess every programming language is and like most programming languages JavaScript also has its weird parts. A side note, I do have a course about the weird parts, but this video is not about the course. Instead, when you learn JavaScript, you will face some weird parts, but there actually is also another difficulty when you learn JavaScript. It has evolved quite a bit over the last 10 years or so. The JavaScript we wrote 10 years ago is totally different, or at least very different, to the JavaScript code we're writing today. And this is actually a good thing, I'd say, because the JavaScript code 10 years ago wasn't that great. The JavaScript code we're writing today is much, much better. Still, if you are learning JavaScript today, this can be a challenge because you'll find a lot of books and courses and tutorials out there that actually start with the old JavaScript syntax and therefore when you learn JavaScript, the journey can feel very daunting because you learn a syntax, then you learn a different version to do the same thing essentially. So you learn a new syntax to do the same thing. Then you dive into advanced features. Then there is the this keyword, which is kind of tricky in JavaScript. It can be challenging. But of course, every programming language you're going to learn has its challenging aspects. And at least one of the great advantages of JavaScript is that when you're learning it, you typically learn it by building some basic web applications, some basic websites. At least you can immediately see what your code is doing. If you learn JavaScript, that will often be something like adding an event listener to a button and then maybe rendering something on the web page, hiding an element, adding an element, things like that. And at least that's some visual feedback. I mean, I actually started with JavaScript, though that was at a time where you couldn't do too many useful things with it. And then I actually also switched to languages like C++ and C Sharp. And I can tell you if you're learning those languages, there's way less you can do with them out of the box. You got no graphical user interface that you could easily generate with those languages. Instead, you work a lot in the terminal, in the console, and um, yeah, it's, it's a long way to uh, building something useful and actually building something which you're used to working with. Desktop applications, games, all of that is pretty hard to build if you're just starting with C Sharp, C++ or related languages. That's probably why web development and mobile development is so popular for beginners because you learn to program whilst actually building something fun, something you can see, something you can touch, at least digitally I guess, and something you can potentially turn into a business. I mean that's also the reason why we're into development, right? We want to ultimately build something which people are going to use, which could earn us some money, which could get us a job. Now, when you start to learn JavaScript though, even though you have that graphical feedback, even though you do start in the browser and you can see what is um, caused by your code, even then you have different ways of learning JavaScript. And what do I mean with ways here? I mean whether you spend your time in just vanilla JavaScript and you learn all the basics there first, or if you just learn some general basics, the core syntax, something like variables, functions, control statements like if statements and for loops, arrays, objects, these core essentials maybe. And then you take that knowledge, that basic knowledge, and you actually dive into some popular library or framework like React or Angular. Now I see that a lot of people are advocating that you should start with JavaScript and learn all the fundamentals there first. And that goes beyond what I just listed. That also includes advanced features like promises, async await, 
callback functions, niche cases, so uh, way more than just the core essentials. And I see where those people are coming from, but I don't think that's the best way of learning JavaScript for everyone. For some people it might be, and that is totally fine, but I think it can also be very motivating if you can build something more amazing quickly. And for that, you typically need a framework or a library. I know that it is popular to state that we build an app with just vanilla JavaScript, but uh, I'm not a huge fan of that. I mean, why is that so cool? Because we don't use something that makes our life easier and helps us build more amazing things. I don't get where the appeal is of building everything on my own. That's a bit like if I would only buy wood and construct all my furniture myself instead of buying finished furniture, right? That's, I don't get this, but sure, if you're an, a vanilla JavaScript fan and you want to build everything with that, definitely do it. In reality, in bigger projects, you're not going to use just vanilla JavaScript. Instead, you're going to use libraries and for big single page applications, for big front end applications, you're definitely going to go with a popular library like React or a framework like Angular or Vue. And that's good because these libraries and frameworks do a lot of heavy lifting for you and they allow you, the developer, to focus on the things that really make your applications awesome, that set your applications apart from other applications and that provide a good user experience. Therefore, my personal, I guess, recommendation is that you definitely get some basics in JavaScript first if you're learning that language, but definitely also try switching to a library like React or to a framework like Angular or Vue early. Yes, there will be challenging parts because you then don't just learn JavaScript but also a framework at the same time, but on the other hand, you will also be able to build more amazing things and it will be easier to see why you are learning this because you will be able to build web applications, single page applications that make more sense, that are more realistic, that are more what you're used to when you are browsing the web and that can be highly motivating. In addition, you then also have the chance of learning something which you'll need to learn anyways side by side with JavaScript language itself. And this does not mean that you shouldn't dive into the advanced parts of JavaScript. You should, but maybe you do this when the need arises whilst you're building your first basic React application, whilst you're learning Vue or Angular. So you can learn these things side by side. Of course, that'll be work. Of course, there will also be frustrating moments if you do this side by side learning because Sometimes you'll struggle with React, sometimes you'll struggle with JavaScript, sometimes you'll struggle with both. And uh, that can of course be frustrating. Ultimately I think that at least for some people this might be a good approach though because it can be faster and ultimately also more motivating. And you can simply try it out. You can simply try it out. You can get your basic JavaScript knowledge the things I listed earlier, variables, control structures, functions, arrays, objects, that stuff. And then you take that knowledge and you dive into something like React or Angular or maybe Vue. I think Vue might be one of the easiest frameworks to get started if you only have basic JavaScript knowledge because you then don't have to learn a new syntax like JSX or something like TypeScript. Instead you can use vanilla JavaScript with the extra Vue magic and build amazing applications. So that might be a great first step. Side note, if you don't want to work with Vue in the future, even if you start with Vue and learn that, it'll be easier to learn another library or framework like React or Angular after you picked up your first framework. And that's true no matter with which framework you start, of course, but Vue is particularly easy to start with, I would argue. So that is definitely something I can recommend. And of course, if you're interested in that, I got courses on all of that. I got a JavaScript course that takes you from A to C and you could dive into that course, go through the first few sections, pick up the basics there and then pause that course and switch to the Vue course, for example, to learn that or to React or Angular if you find that more appealing. And then you can always come back to the JavaScript course and dive into the advanced topics there as well. This is an approach I would recommend that you check out and if it doesn't work for you, you can of course always go back to the vanilla JavaScript first approach and then dive into frameworks or libraries that you need for your job. 
But the other approach could be worth a look as well.